Oh, I'm recording. Wonderful. Okay, I'll, I'll cut this bit out. But hi, Helena. Hello. Thank you for having me. Of course. Can you just <laughs> explain a little bit about yourself? Like, what's your major, your minor? Of course. Well, hello. I'm Helena Blakenhouse. I am a first-generation college student. Both of my parents are immigrants, um, and I've always been very passionate about human rights and I aspire to go to Georgetown Law and become a lawyer. Um, I'm a part of Title IX. I'm an undergraduate intern, so I'm working for the community and just making a safer space for all people. Cool. Um, and how has your experience in the Feminist Studies Department been? Honestly, I very thoroughly enjoyed my experience in the Feminist Studies Department here at UC Santa Cruz. Entering college, I came in undeclared and I had no idea what I was going to do. And then I took one feminist studies course and I absolutely fell in love. I think that the professors are excellent um, and they deeply care about their students. This major is very like reading and writing heavy, but that means you'll learn a lot. So it's nice. Yeah, I agree. And then maybe you can go into a little bit about your UCDC experience. How was that specifically as like a fem studies major? Because we don't have many feminist studies majors who do UCDC. And so we're trying to spread awareness on, um, you know, UCDC being for everyone, not just politics majors. Yeah, definitely. So in the application process of doing interviews, I learned that there are so many grassroots organizations out there that are very catered um, towards women's rights and humans' rights. So I actually ended up being a legislative intern for Congressman Ami Berra, um, where I did primarily focus on international relations. I went to briefings and hearings and drafted memos. Um, but where I kind of turned it into a kind of feminist focused internship um, is we were given a project, so a three-month in-depth research project that we were allowed to do. And within that, I drafted a piece of legislation um, along with all my research and then did a seven-minute presentation to the entire congressional staff, including my congressman. Um, and I decided to hone in on sex trafficking and the role that gender plays um, within that for survivors in that injustice. And so through that, I was really able to apply my past knowledge um, from UC Santa Cruz as a feminist study major onto my internship. Cool. And would you recommend it to other feminist studies majors? A hundred percent. I think UCDC definitely put me out of my comfort zone, um, but it's within those environments that you truly grow. Um, and learn new things. You know, before my internship, I had never stepped foot in the Capitol, um, but now I'm able to give hour-long tours talking about the very history of it. So I I would just tell people that struggling is okay. Um, it means that you're pushing yourself. It means that you're learning and also make sure to set time apart beside doing your internship to get out there, explore the beautiful city um, and learn the rich history of it. It's a wonderful experience and you get to meet people from all different UCs. I have friends from UCLA, UC Santa Barbara. Um, it's just wonderful. So definitely recommend. Did you make any connections at UCDC that you can further in your experience at Georgetown? Yeah, definitely. So my boss um, at the Capitol is actually really good friends with someone who is currently a second year at Georgetown Law. So through him, I was able to get a personal tour. Um, I was able to talk to two professors and I kind of talked to him about the application process. And I'm already starting um, with drafting my purpose statement. And so he told me, you know, once if I do get in, he'll be there for me as a mentor. And so I'll have kind of a safety net in a way since I'm going across you know, America, all my family's here in California. So that was super nice of my boss to offer that. Cool. And then do you have any pieces of advice for students applying to CDC? Maybe anything that they should keep in mind? Definitely. I would say carve out more time than you think. Um, I think I, I speak for all UCDC students. When I arrived, we had a dinner the first night, which was wonderful. And we all kind of talked about how much work it was. And, you know, you really have to apply yourself. You should definitely go to the Career and Success Center at our school, do practice interviews. I did tons of those. 
um, and definitely expand your web very wide, have a very open mindset, you know, make sure to focus on what you want to work on, but also at the same time, allow yourself to, you know, maybe explore something new that you think you wouldn't have done. You know, I originally thought I'd be interning at a law firm, um, and I ended up on the Capitol and I absolutely loved it. So yeah, keep your mind open and, you know, stay focused and know that as long as you keep putting in the work, keep applying to places, you'll definitely get one. So Yeah. Awesome. So worth it. So worth it. <laughs> Great. So nice talking to you, Helena. Nice to see nice you. Talk. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Of course.